Welcome back YouTube to the channel. So I got into the Withering Waves beta. It was my first time playing. I've been streaming all day today. I have about six hours on the game right now. And I wanted to come out with a video like a first impressions because this is a game that I've actually been you know excited for. I'm at a point now in the story where I have to level up quite a bit to continue. So I thought like the overall things that I like about this game and the things that maybe I don't like as much or can improve. Spoiler alert, it does a lot of great things and i'm very happy with the direction that this game is going and i could definitely see myself playing this game a lot i've been having so much fun today on, on stream you might be asking okay who makes this game this is not a hoyoverse game i've been getting a lot of questions today in chat this is another hoyoverse game no this is made by kuro games they made punishing gray raven if you've ever heard of that game and this is another game that they're coming out with called withering waves an open world anime you know gotcha game where you collect waifus husbandos explore the world and stuff story and everything you can grind out for your character stuff like that i just want to say i am not sponsored by kuro games i am not sponsored by withering waves i'm not sponsored in any way this is not a sponsored video they did not pay me to say this i can say whatever the fuck i want about this game okay the only thing that they've given me is beta access that's it let's just talk about the good things i mean first and foremost right it's an open world game and what i really like about this is the colors the muted open world colors so let me show you what the map looks like so far so this is what i have unlocked so far in the six hours a lot of greenery right here some deserty areas right but it's vibrant in some spots and not as vibrant in other spots and i like that because like a post-apocalyptic type feel to the game and the graphics dude oh, oh my god i have to just tell you this as a pc gamer there's a 120 fps mode in this game on the pc version if you have an nvidia graphics card there is nvidia uh dlss if you need that and nvidia reflex as well down here which is amazing when i saw that i was so happy dude i was so happy these are the characters that i have so far so this is your mc i chose the female mc i like the design a little bit more than the the male one they do speak by the way not all the time but they do talk uh, with other characters and you can actually hear their voice as of currently right now with the beta the voiceover is only in mandarin they don't have an english uh voiceover right now for the story but i can confirm that your mc does talk in the game which is really cool uh i did get a five star today encore who is a dps fusion i think in my first like temple i think i got her which i thought was really cool by g as well and then yang yang is kind of given to you she's a really cool character and then i also got mortify and chixia who has guns by the way dude like it's incredible like how fun she is let's start with the gotcha system because i know that's something that a lot of people really care about and i'm here to tell you something the gotcha system is awesome so you have like your novice uh convene which is like your standard like beginner banner right where it's like it's less it costs less uh to wish on it this is actually where i got my encore obviously you get a, a four star every 10 wishes and then you're guaranteed a five star or a five star resonator uh at every 50. so you have that one and then you have like your like your limited edition banner your limited banner right now is Gion, who you actually i won't spoil anything but he's freaking cool you can lose your 50 50 on this and get a standard five star character every uh 10 pulls you get a four star as well at 80 pulls you will get a guaranteed five star at 80. so it does tell you like at 80 you will get a five star but again you can lose your 50 50 here now this is where it gets interesting where if you play other gotcha games this might be a breath of fresh air or you might hate it i personally love it dude the weapon banner we all know the meme the weapon banner is a scam not here at least as of right now everything i'm telling you is subject to change because this is only the beta the kuro games could go in and just change this completely if you're watching this kuro games please don't change it please please don't change it you get a five star weapon at every 80 pulls right and a four star at every 10. the weapon is 100 guaranteed though there is no losing your 50 50 on this weapon banner you will get the weapon at maximum at 80. that's incredible dude i've never heard of that bro no more is the weapon banner a scam in this game at least this is also where it gets interesting the standard banner right here these are your standard five star characters right now you know in other games if you get a five star on the standard banner it could be a character or it could be a weapon and it can be kind of annoying it's like man i hope i get a standard character and then you end up getting like a weapon I'm like oh my god right kuro games said no not here this is your standard five star character banner then you have your standard five star weapon banner they split it so when you wish on this one you will get a character when you wish on this one you will get a weapon and on top of that for the weapon you can choose the path 
of which weapon you want to get, which I think is amazing, dude. So that's how the gotcha system works in this game. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think it's amazing. Combat is incredible in this game. And I think a lot of people knew, especially coming from Punishing Gray Raven, a lot of people, uh, I did not play that game myself, but that game had a really good combat system from what I've heard. And this game also does. You have like your ultimate abilities, you have your skills, you have your basic attacks. Uh, when you're fighting, you'll hear like a chime go off and then you can switch to a different character and it'll do a special switching character attack, which is really cool. And it's very fast and it's very fluid and it's very funny. And you feel like a badass when you're fighting enemies. Combat does have complexity to it because there is like a counter system. You'll see like a golden ring around your enemy. And when you see that, if you attack them at the right time, you can counter them and knock them or you have perfect dodges. Like if you dodge like the a specific time right before you're about to get hit it'll slow down time which is really cool but it doesn't actually end there though this is what makes this game different there's a thing called echoes in this game right where it's pretty much pokemon and when you fight different bosses or different enemies you have a chance to take their echo and their essence and then use them in battle i was exploring the world and i came across this really cool looking wolf i beat him and then i was able to absorb his echo and now i can use him in battle so when you're in combat and stuff I can switch to the wolf like that and then use him in battle, right? Or have this one, right? Where he like counters and then he can do like a big like a uh, ground pound thing. So yeah, like you can use different ones in different battles and then like they all do different things. This one might be my favorite one actually. Hold on, hold on, hold on, switch him. It's a turtle that heals you, but uh, the way he does it, you just gotta see this dude. Dude, the guy has a dance party and he raves, which I think is the best thing in the world, bro. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Yeah, there's 228 to collect, all different like variety and stuff. It's really, really cool. Oh, also another thing that I really like, when you sprint, it doesn't use stamina, by the way. It uses stamina if you like, when you dash though, but when you sprint, it doesn't use stamina, which I think is incredible. This is a very small detail, and I kept talking about this in stream today. On a wall, right? And you need to jump off backwards. You can do that. You can just go boom you can front flip off and backwards that small little detail which actually kind of segues me into my next point i'm a very picky person when it comes to animations and movements in games they knocked that out of the park with this is it perfect no but the way your character moves around and like just walks feels really good dashing sprinting it all feels really good fighting feels really good as well so it actually feels good to play because there are some games that i've tried where the animation the movement and like the, the the running and all that it felt too stiff and it wasn't fun to play i think they really knocked it out of the park with like the movement one thing i do wish they kind of changed though the spinning around i feel like the spinning around is a little stiff which also translates to like when you have to like move around like this it does translate into your movement so sometimes it does feel stiff very rarely though and i think it's due to this another thing that i really like is another small very uh, very small detail you can just run up stuff dude you can literally run up walls and if you want to climb you can climb so traversal in this game is amazing obviously as well you do get a glider pretty standard i don't know if you'll be able to get like new gliders and stuff you can like dash in the air like that only once though obviously is a uh, very familiar territory uh for a lot of players right there are obviously puzzles that you can like come across and stuff enemies to fight chests i mean dude earlier in stream i found like a domain i walked inside and then it was an old man and he was like can you beat my time sonny and i was like what and then you jump into a hole and then the game goes sideways and then you're, you're playing like rayman legends like mario and you're like jumping on pads and jumping over obstacles and you're trying to beat his time and then the end he gives you chests and like loot and stuff i thought was amazing i i do the domains are look like really cool the enemies that you're fighting are really cool oh another good you can pet you can pet the dogs you can pet the dogs and the cats and you can feed them and they do different animations in this game that's a good thing that's a good thing by the way but i do i've been having a lot of people today also compare it to genshin what i want to say on that before we get into like cons and stuff about the game and like things that i think that they should improve and stuff i think it's inevitable that we compare it to Genshin or that people will compare it to Genshin, right? Because Genshin has been the big open world anime gotcha game for years. But I think that this game has its own identity. And if it does everything correctly and it, it continues to 
improve itself and get better it can definitely be very successful in its own right with its own community or even people who play genshin will want to play this as well you know if you don't know this there are like in racing games there are multiple different types of racing games under that umbrella that have their their player bases brs battle royales you have fortnite apex warzone same thing fps game rpgs whatever the same thing with gotcha games you know it's been genshin mainly for years but like now withering waves is kind of coming in the people kept calling it a genshin clone earlier it's not a genshin clone it's withering waves it has its own identity there are definitely similarities and i think it's inevitable to see those similarities because we've been so used to one thing but the things that it does is amazing and i think it does other things differently that i love like the combat is so fun bro and the echoes and collecting the the monsters to add to your party but then obviously there are definitely similarities to genshin and i think that's okay because look if some like earlier someone was saying that the ui like why does this game look exactly like a genshin like ripoff because of the uh the ui in my opinion it's not a ripoff it's just ui i'll be honest with you genshin's ui is really good in my opinion it's simple enough and it's clean or it's not overbearing and stuff and so why try to fix what's not broken broken right just make it your own with your own icons and stuff and like you're you're fine and I think this is a very clean UI there are some things that I don't like though like I don't like that this is on the left side instead of the right I'm just so used to everything being on the right side the UI is just a means for you to get to a different page so if you're getting mad over you know the UI like come on now yeah those are like my thoughts on that I think it's inevitable because people are definitely going to compare it I want to talk about some things that I feel like they can improve on with this game it's literally nitpicking but yeah some things that i've noticed in my past six hours story is okay it's nothing that like oh my god this is insane but i will say there are some story bits that you're just like whoa like at least i was i was like whoa that was really cool it's nothing like insane like oh my god this is the coolest story ever but what game at like in the beginning right for gotcha i should say um in the beginning was just like insane this is the craziest thing ever no it has to start somewhere and if they keep up with this game it'll only get better right and i believe that they can definitely do that for what it is right now in the beta i'm enjoying the story it's, it's really cool a lot of cool characters that you're meeting decent enough lore and not deep enough in to like really be like whoa that's really cool you know but like some of the cool characters that you meet I'm, I'm really 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 liking speaking about the story they rewrote it dude apparently from what i've seen the kuro games team they heard people's feedback from the first beta like nine or ten months ago they rewrote or redid 90 percent of it they said okay go back to the drawing board let's let's do it do you ever hear about a studio ever doing that you know like i said though is it still like 20 million like out of 10 like this is the best story ever no but it's the beginning of the game you can't compare this game to a game that's already established after three years right like talking on genshin right go back and play monster and you tell me that's peak storytelling because it ain't we all got to start somewhere and it's so far it's been good I've, I've been like i would say it's good so that's, i guess that's one negative i guess uh, another thing speaking on the combat this is what I, I wanted to touch up on I've done two boss fights I fought like bigger enemies out in the open world stuff like that it seems too easy I don't know if they did that just for the beta if that's actually like final product I, I don't know but to make it a little bit harder or give people who want a harder challenge that option because one thing about other games that we play is that like sometimes I just feel like they're too easy and I'm just like Ugh. and I'm not killing things in two seconds here but like it is like I, I thought it was gonna be harder so I can definitely see them maybe making it easy for the beta and then they make it harder when the game releases or giving that option for people who, who do want it because if you have a cool combat system you'd want to really utilize it right um because right now it kind of just feels like button mashy like this is really cool but I'm kind of just mowing through these guys but also in the same time we are very very early in the game and you wouldn't want to make it too hard that people stop playing right you want to ease people into the difficulty so maybe it'll ramp up in difficulty to the point where I really like that difficulty later on in the game and then also in the same time you have to care about your casual players as well and not everyone wants a super hard game so maybe just having the option or just later on ramping up the difficulty but as of right now for the last five hours for my first impressions which is that it's been a little too easy but the combat's fun oh no character trials right now I wish there were so you can try out the five stars before committing to wishing for them this was my last con or negative about the game which honestly I don't even 
personally, I don't think is that big of a negative, but I've been seeing it a lot in my stream today. Character design. I've been seeing a lot of people in my chat today, past six hours, complaining about how they think the characters look mid or like they look bland. And to a certain degree, I do agree with that. If you're comparing it to other games where they like spot the anime character, like the main protagonist, right? In the crowd, they're not as unique or flashy, right? But the thing is, I feel like these characters fit their world in a sense. So this is your MC. If you look at them, this is their design. I like the design, but when you look at it, yeah blacks grays it's it's kind of it's kind of bland i ain't gonna lie i like the design but it's, it's kind of eh. encore i think has a really cute design bright colors pink whites it's very fitting for her character she has a five star so maybe like the five stars have like the really like unique stuff by g sorry is mommy dude i think she is gorgeous from head to toe oh my god also i need to show you this do with that what you will I, I like her character design but also in the same time it's kind of like meh it's kind of like bland right it, it's very blacks whites golds like doesn't really stand out or pop that much is it bad no I don't think so could it be a little bit extra maybe yeah I could see that now something I don't agree with a lot of people are saying that Yang Yang looks boring I don't think that I don't think that at all I like the color pop of the blue I like the beret I love her hair uh this is a four star character I got Morteffi he looks meh and then you have uh Chixia who I love her I love her so much and I like her design as well I did hear from someone as well apparently Kuro Games likes to do like skins that you can get for characters so and I don't know the accuracy of that but if that is true or maybe something I would like to see in this game more skins if you want to make them look more interesting right or grind we talked about this earlier grindable skins where you have to like grind to get them or like do certain criteria and stuff to unlock them to unlock more looks for your characters right looking at them at a base a lot of blacks a lot of grays a lot of whites um nothing too interesting but then some characters look really insane right like gian dude his design i think looks insane i mean he his design is really cool so it's very I guess inconsistent in a sense but again this game is only in beta they could only get better apparently they did do some redesigns for characters from the first beta so all in all Kuro Games is showing that they are wanting this game to do well and that they want it to succeed and they are putting in the work I mean when have you heard of the dev team going back from the first beta and being like scrap the story let's start it over let's rewrite it let's redo it let's remake some of the character designs if they're doing that before the game is even out imagine in the future what they will want to do to make their game better i'm very excited i'm playing this game all week on my twitch channel twitch.tv slash doro 44 and then to answer the question because i've been getting this question a lot today is it a genshin killer no the only game that can kill genshin impact is genshin itself kuro games has created something really cool here and i think this can be its own thing it doesn't need to kill genshin i think this game can live in the space on its own thing and have a big fan base behind it and a player base and do well in its own right alongside Genshin, you know, and other, you know, gotcha games. It's okay for multiple games to be in the same genre. I think if they keep doing it and they keep working on this game and making it better, it can do very well. If you play Genshin, right, or anything like that, you'll feel kind of at home with this game a little bit. Uh, and then you'll you'll appreciate the the things that this game does, right? Oh, also, uh, just to point this out, 240 resin off the bat. Love that very, very, very much. So yeah, those are my first impressions of this game. I'm excited to see what they do with it. I'm excited to see where it goes and just enjoy playing it because I truly just today felt so happy playing it. And I just, time flew by for my stream. I was like, dude, it's already six. Like, what the hell? And you know what? For the video, for the people at home watching this on YouTube, we'll do one pull. We'll do one pull here. Let's see. I mean, you never know, right? Uh, maybe we'll get a gold or something, you know? No, or, or not, or not, you know, or not. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you are excited for Withering Waves, if you got into the beta and if you've been able to play it, what you think about it so far. And expect more videos on the YouTube channel and maybe some shorts as well for Withering Waves. You know, just covering it a little bit, uh, getting more info out there. Maybe I'll make another video where it's more concise, formulated thoughts. Uh, after more playtime. I only have six hours on the game. 